وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى in today's uh, ayah that we're going to go through is قوله تعالى the statement of Allah قل لمن ما في السماوات والأرض قل لله كتب على نفسه الرحمة لا يجمعنكم إلى يوم القيامة لا ريب فيه الذين خسروا أنفسهم فهم لا يؤمنون الله سبحانه وتعالى he says قل say to them محمد الله is speaking to the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم أن الله says to them قل أي محمد محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم say say to who لهؤلاء المكذبين these who are disbelieving in you, who don't want to believe in you, say to them, لمن who is ملك جميع ما في السماوات وجميع ما في الأرض who is the king of every single thing in the heavens and everything on this earth? Who is the king of all of them? Who is the king of all of the creations that are in the heavens? Who is the king of all of the creations on this earth? The answer is what, brothers and sisters? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is Allah, which the answer will come soon. And then Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, when he asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to ask him this question, Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala commanded the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bi an yujiba an ha'ulai ama bi an yujiba an hadha su'ali. Allah commanded the Prophet to respond to that question himself. So then Allah said to him, قُلْ Say to them Muhammad. يعني قُلْ يَا Muhammad, لِلَّهِ Say to them, ذَلِكَ كُلُّهُ All of that. يعني ملك جميع السماوات والأرض. All of it is for who? لِلَّهِ تَعَالَى Allah. الَّذِي يَسْتَحِقُّ الْعِبَادَةَ وَحْدَةَ the one who deserves to be worshipped, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the view Ibn Jarir al-Tabari and Ibn Kathir and Abdul Rahman Nasir al-Sa'di and the great Aimatu Salaf mentioned. Then Allah says, كَتَبَ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ الرَّحْمَةِ مَمْعَنَا كَتَبَ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ الرَّحْمَةِ It means, أَوْجَبَ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ Allah made it... Uh, he prescribed on himself. He made mandatory on himself Ar-Rahmah mercy. So Allah's mercy then became what? Fawasi'at rahmatu kulla shay'in. His mercy encompassed everything. Walidhalika, Al-Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim both narrated and the wording, inshallah ta'ala, is the wording of Al-Imam Muslim min hadith Abi Hurairah that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, لما خلق الله الخلق when Allah created the creation when Allah created the creation كتب في كتابه Allah سبحانه وتعالى he wrote في كتابه in the book فهو عنده and that book is with him فهو عنده فوق العرش above the arsh إن رحمتي تغلب غضبي that my anger my anger surpasses sorry my mercy Surpasses my anger. Inna rahmati taghlibu ghadabi. That my uh, mercy surpasses my anger. Then Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he says, La yajma'annakum ila yawmi al-qiyamati la rayba fih. La yajma'annakum that lam is lam al-qasam. Allah is swearing. It's wallahi la yajma'annakum al-rabbu. Wallahi, by Allah, you will all be brought together, ayyuhal nas. Oh people, you will all be brought together. All of you will be, yani, from all over the world and where you're buried, you'll all come together. 
يوم القيامة the day of judgment and you're going to come يوم القيامة is what لا ريب فيه لا ريب فيه means what الذي لا شك في وقوعه that the قيامه is going to happen there's no doubt about it there's no doubt regarding that and that is the view ibn jarir al-tabari mentions ibn kathir mentions rahimahullah al sheikh muhammad ibn salih al-uthaymi rahimahullah also mentioned then allah tabarak wa ta'ala he says alladhina the ones alladhina the ones khasiru Mam'ana khasiru ay ada'u anfusahum those who have forsaken themselves they didn't yani fa'adibu fa'idat al-intifa' minha they did not benefit from the, from their nafs whilst it was in this dunya they didn't benefit from it how did they not benefit from it bi hirmaniha tasdiq ar-rasul by not believing in the messengers and the prophets that were sent wal risalati and they didn't believe in the message that was sent with these prophets Humul khasirun haqqa they're the ones who truly lost they lost out the prophets were sent the messengers were, were brought to this earth and instead of believing in those prophets and those messengers what did they do they chose not to believe it they chose not to what they chose not to believe in those prophets and now they're in a state of what khasiru they're in a state of khusran they ada'u anfusahum they forsake themselves fa'adimu fa'idat al-intifa'i minha and so they didn't benefit from uh, the life that they had and the opportunity that was given to them on this earth. And so what happened? They became from the al khasirun haqqa. When they turned away and they suspected Allah and His messengers, إِذْ لَمَّا أَعْرَضُوا عَنْ ذَلِكَ فَاتَهُمُ الْإِيمَانُ بِاللَّهِ تَعَالَى وَبِرَسُولِهِ عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ وَبِالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ الَّذِي هُوَ سَبَبُ الْفَوْزِ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ what they missed out on is believing in these messengers, believing in the message that was given to these prophets and these messengers, believing in Allah, believing in the day of judgment, all of which would have been a means for success and prosperity for them and would have been a means for them to enter Jannah. They didn't benefit from it. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He says, قُلْ إِنَّ الْخَاسِرِينَ الَّذِينَ أَنفُسَهُمْ قُلْ إِنَّ الْخَاسِرِينَ الَّذِينَ خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ وَأَهْلِيهِمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Those who, who are khasirin, who, did, who forsake themselves, who are, who are they? الَّذِينَ خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ They أَضَاعُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ وَأَهْلِيهِمْ and their families يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ The day of judgment they forsake them themselves. So this ayah is the ayah that I wanted to, inshallah ta'ala, share with you and the benefits in it. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdi ashadu wa la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa tubu Ramadan with AMAU. Make this the best Ramadan you've ever had by joining our exclusive online community with regular private classes, digital resources, weekly accountability sessions and daily Qur'an gatherings. This is one opportunity you definitely do not want to miss. So sign up now at amau.org forward slash Ramadan and we look forward to welcoming you on the other side.